Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh right here, back again with a new video. And today, well, not today, but this MLB offseason has probably been one of the craziest in the past 10 years. Bigger than any free agent signing, bigger than any trade, it, this is even bigger than the time the Giants won three World Series rings in all even years. Or um, when the Cubs won the World Series in 2016. Th th this, this is bigger than probably any free agent signing, any trade. It, and of course, once again, I'm talking about the Houston Astros cheating scandal. So... This is just another update video on the scandal. <clears throat> I know a lot of bigger YouTubers are talking about this, like um, Fuzzy, um, Matt Antonelli, he, former MLB player, by the way, for the... He, he was a draft pick from, from the Padres, but he, he never really played that long in the majors. He spent most of his time in uh, AAA. But, but hey, at least the, the YouTube stuff uh, is going good for him. And then, of course, the guy who started this off was a guy named John Boy. I, I think that's how you say his name. So he's the guy that started all of this, and it is crazy. So... For those of you who don't really follow baseball, so the Houston Astros, they were um, accused of stealing signs. Were st well, I shouldn't say they were accused. They were stealing signs in 2017 while using trash cans. And my, I, I don't have a trash can with me because um, I'm, I'm in my my uh, dad's garage right now but what was in yeah so they were stealing signs by banging in a trash can so basically letting the players know what pitch is coming and so how they did it was so there was this hallway that was in between I'm at oh the lighting in here is terrible um sorry sorry about the light behind me um, so basically there was a, um, a hallway that was between the Astros dugout and their clubhouse. And there would be a, a guy setting it up with, the, they had a monitor and a guy would be banging a trash can to let the batters know, like Jose Altuve, Carlos Correa, Gurriel, George Springer, whatever. They were letting them know which pitches was coming and a lot of teams teams was hearing a lot of suspicious banging and of course it was the Astros um the the Yankees found this out the Dodgers Indians Blue Jays White Sox pr pretty much half the half the league pretty much knew that the Astros were doing something fishy and all of this, this crazy stuff actually led the Astros to winning the World Series in 2017, beating the Dodgers. And I, I guess this was a green light for the Astros to keep going. And they possibly did it in the 2018 and 2019 seasons as well. And so... Yeah, this offseason's pretty much been about about the Astros cheating scandals. This is probably why they haven't made any any big pulls this offseason cuz they they cheated. And also Carlos Beltran and Alex Cora who after 2017 managed the uh, the the Red Sox, Alex Cora the Red Sox and then the Mets recently hired Carlos Beltran to be their new manager after Mickey Callaway got fired. 
And I, I'm sorry. Mickey Calloway, he wasn't a bad pitching coach, but as a manager, he wasn't that great. I'm glad he's out of New York. Mets fans don't have to suffer anymore. But back to the Astros. So, um, they, so Alex Cor the Red Sox recently fired Cora. They fired Bel the Beltron. Well, he didn't really get fired, but he stepped down as the Mets manager for 2020. Uh, of course, um, AJ Hinge got fired. Jeff Luno was fired over in the Astros. And there were a lot of, well, of course, there are a lot of players who are very disappointed in the Astros. A lot of people are disappointed in the Astros because they never thought the Astros would be would be doing this kind of stuff. And the Astros, they're, they're a great team. Two years ago, Jose Altuve was one of my favorite players. Carlos Correa was one of my favorite players as well, mostly because he was from Puerto Rico. And uh, Puerto Rico is one of my favorite countries. Is in a lot of really good baseball players come from Puerto Rico. Um, not not the point. Anyway, so a lot of players were really angry about this. Of course, Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge, Trevor Bauer. He has been, and um, he's been having a really busy off season. He actually has a, a YouTube channel as well. So. Uh, if you guys want to check it, check his YouTube channel out. It's actually pretty cool. Um, he was pretty much talking about not just the Astros scandal, but a lot of stuff that other st stupid stuff Rob Manfred has been doing this off season. Because um, they had this new rule with the postseason, which I'll make a different video about that if you guys want me to. <clears throat> and so. What was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. So, a lot of players were really angry about this. And so, the so the punishment was that um, A.J. Hinch and Luna would be suspended for 2020. But that suspension's kind of pointless because after that suspension, they got fired. And so... Dusty Baker took over for the Astros. Dusty Baker, he's a great manager. I always love Dusty Baker. Um, I remember, I remember him when he was managing the Reds and the Nationals. Too bad the Nationals let him go because that was when, you know, the Nationals when they couldn't win um, a, a postseason series before 2019 when they couldn't. Um, win the division series. <clears throat> so, Dusty Baker took over. I think he'll do okay there. And recently, of course, we're in February now. All the teams reported down to Arizona and Florida for spring training. Um, and the Astros, they um, apologized. I, 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 I'm using air quotes, as you can see apologized for what they did and a lot of people didn't really like how the Astros apologized like you know those kind of apologies that look like they're really scripted yeah this a lot of people were saying that this looked like a scripted a scripted apology and, of course, Cody Bellinger didn't like it. Aaron Judge didn't like it. Well, I, I hope Aaron Judge didn't like it. it. I mean, Jose Altuve robbed them from getting an MVP, just like DJ LeMahieu almost robbed Mike Trout from getting an MVP. Yes, uh, LeMahieu's average was a lot better than Trout's last year, but my, Mike Trout's the better player. So, sorry, if you don't mess with Mike Trout, ladies and gentlemen, um, don't don't mess with the city of L.A. because they're they're going through a lot of crazy stuff. Um, lost the World Series to a trash can, and one of the greatest NBA players 
passed away in a helicopter crash. Oh. And so, a lot of crazy stuff going on in L.A. And then, of course, all the Hollywood stuff with the with the movies and stuff. I'm not going to get into that. We are getting really out of... We're getting off topic. I apologize. So, Cody Bellinger didn't accept the the Astros apology. They, he said that it was scripted. He he used to I like those guys a few years ago. Now he <clears throat> and now all of a sudden they he lost the World Series to a trash can, uh, to banging on a trash can, anyways. And another thing recently, um, uh, so uh, another update on this, uh, not too lo long ago, a couple days ago. So if you remember game, was it game six of the ALCS last year when Astro the Astros played the Yankees for the second time, um, Jose Altuve had the walk-off home run against Aroldis Chapman. I mean, first of all, since when does Aroldis Chapman give up a walk-off home runs? I haven't seen Aroldis Chapman give up a walk-off period since his early days with Cincinnati. And so that was a... I remember watching that game and I was thinking to myself, oh, you've got to be crazy if you're going to a walk-off home run against Aroldis Chapman. I mean, this guy was one of the top pitchers in, or top closers in the league. I mean, this guy can throw pretty fast. He strikes out guys very, very well. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, walk-off home run, Astros go to the World Series. It's like, really? It's like, like Chapman must must have been having a bad day, or something. But anyway, after the home run, uh, you can see Arolis Chapman. He was holding his his uh, jersey, like, and he was, you know, waving his finger like, "Don't rip my shirt off." And so, and there were teammates trying to go after him. They were trying to pull it off. I mean. Gary Sanchez, this is funny. He goes, if I had a walk-off home run in the playoffs off of Aroldis Chapman, I'd have the my teammates rip my whole, whole shirt off. I, I'd rip me off till I was naked. That that that, that was funny. I, I I love Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez is is a funny funny guy. That 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 was funny. Why am I stuttering? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm saying I I've said anyways a whole lot in this video. If you if you notice, I apologize. I get off. I can get off topic real easily. Um. So, Aroldis Ch or not Aroldis Chapman, Jose Altuve. He goes into the uh, the locker room, the clubhouse, and of course he's changing shirts. Comes out, Ken Rosenthal's, it um inter interviewing him, and he asks him, "How come? Um, you told your teammates not to rip your shirt off." He goes. Well, it, first up, he says, no, is that he's shy. And then he says, uh, my wife, if we'll get mad. I, I got in trouble with my wife last time they did that. Uh, I'll have to look at, up some older Aroldis, or not Aroldis Chapman. Why do I keep saying Aroldis Chapman? Jose Altuve. Old Jose Altuve clips of him getting walk-off base hits. And trying to see if they ripped him, ripped the shirt off. I mean, Jose Altuve, he is pretty buff. I mean, he 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 might be tiny, but the dude's buff. If you've never seen that, if you've never seen him before, the lighting in yours, not very good. Um, okay. So, Carlos Correa was standing up for Altuve during the the apology. And he, he goes, oh, well, and then also people thought that there was a buzzer underneath his jersey, so that that was another reason why a lot of people thought it was suspicious. So Carlos Correa says that 
he had a an unfinished tattoo on his I think his collar or collarbone I think it was I don't know and it was I guess it wasn't finished or it was or it looked like it was really bad so next time Jose Altuve gets a a, bait, a walk off hit he has to neither keep the shirt on or look or have an unfinished tattoo because the tattoo wasn't finished yet according to Carlos Correa and Jose Altuve's wife I think Carlos Correa's wife said this too that to, to not and Jose Altuve they're like don't tell anybody and Carlos Correa's like all right and I got your, your back bro Oh, and then tell, tells the media, oh, my best friend. Well, I don't know if they're best friends. I, I guess they're best friends since they're teammates. But he goes, oh, my boy Jose Altuve, he, he's he got an unfinished tattoo, and he didn't want to show it. And it's like, great. Like he, I mean, at, at, at least Carlos Correa did his job trying to stand up for Altuve. But still think it's kind of odd. This offseason has been really crazy. Besides um, the Astro cheating scandal. Um, there a lot, a lot of big free agent signings. A, a lot of big trades that happened. Um, let's see. Start off Will Smith to the Braves. Yasmani Grandal, Edwin and Carnacion, Dallas Keikwul, No More Mazzara, Steve Ciszek, all went to the White Sox. All the moves that the Reds made, all the moves that the other moves that the Braves made. Corey Kluber to the Rangers, Didi Gregorius and Zach Wheeler to or to the Phillies. My bad. Anthony Rendon to the Angels. Now, in a few years, that Angels team is going to be stacked. At, at least, at hope, hopefully they can get that, the starting pitching a little better. And they, they're, they're going to make, take the World Series in with no, prop, no problem in the next few years. Um, let's see who else, who else. Oh, yeah, the, the trade the Dodgers made with the Red Sox getting Mookie and David Price. Um... And then a lot of managers, a lot of teams getting new managers. Mets new manager, Cubs new manager, Angels getting Joe Madden. I think the Pirates and the Orioles they got new managers. Uh, of course, Dusty Baker after what happened with AJ Hinch. Joe Girardi back at it again, and with the Phillies. I I don't know why the Yankees got rid of Joe Girardi. I mean, yeah, he wasn't. Winning them World Series rings like Joe Torre did. I mean, well, Girardi won the 2009 World Series for the Yankees, but was there when they, they won 09. But, you know, even though Joe Girardi got ejected 33 times, at, at least he was standing up for his players. At, le at least he stood up for the players. What are you doing? YouTube video. Oh, yeah? Yep.